Wheelchair lift operation, D-coach. Step one, preparing coach for passengers with disabilities. Before exiting the driver's area, make sure the engine is running and the transmission is in neutral. Verify the parking brake is engaged. Move the dash mounted wheelchair lift switch to on. Remove the passenger seat track inserts from the coach floor located in front of the wheelchair lift upper access door. First, fold the passenger seat cushion up by pulling the release lever located under the cushion. Move the seats forward by stepping on the release bar located under the seat near the coach floor. Push until the seat locks in place. Please refer to the operator's handbook for complete instructions on the operation of the slider seats and mobility restraints. Step 2. Deploying the wheelchair lift. Once outside, open the lower wheelchair lift cassette door. Locate the wheelchair lift master power switch. Move it to the on position. Remove the handheld remote control pendant and step clear of the lift, removing the full length of cord from the compartment. Locate the on-off switch on the pendant control. Move it to the on position. Press the deploy button until the lift fully extends and stops. Step 3. Preparing wheelchair lift for use. Manually unfold the handrails to the upright position. Ensure the handles are locked into place. Make sure the restraint located on the handrails is buckled. The lift will not operate unless the restraint is buckled. Press and hold the down button on the pendant until the lift has completely descended to ground level and the roll stop barrier has fully deployed. Step 4. Loading passenger with disabilities onto wheelchair lift. Unbuckle the lift restraint belt. If required, assist passenger onto the lift in the proper position. Secure lift restraint belt. Remember, the belt has to be locked before the lift will rise. Ask the passenger to apply the mobility aid brakes. If required, offer assistance. Passengers not able to navigate the main entrance steps are assisted onto the lift facing forward. Secure the lift restraint belt and remind them to hold on to the lift handrails. Step 5. Moving passenger to coach compartment. Advise the passenger that you are about to raise the lift. Press the up button on the control pendant to raise the lift with the passenger. The lift will stop just before floor level. Slide open the coach access door. Moving the door approximately 6 inches will activate the automatic open feature. Press the up button on the pendant until the lift stops at floor level and the bridge plate automatically folds down. If assistance is required, the driver can now return to the lift area inside the coach to help the passenger exit the lift. The passenger unlocks the brakes on the mobility aid device and the driver assists the passenger into the coach, positioning them away from the doorway to avoid triggering the threshold warning device located overhead and remind standing passengers riding the lift to duck down when entering the coach. Step 6. Preparing wheelchair lift for stowing. Press the down button on the pendant to retract the bridge plate and to begin lowering the lift. The lift will stop once clear of the upper access door. Close the upper sliding coach door and latch it. Using the down button, lower the lift to approximately the stow position. Release the lift restraint belt. To release the locks on the handrails, you press 
lift, and fold for storage. The handrails must be folded in the order shown, verify they link together, then reconnect the lift restraint belt. Step 7. Stowing the wheelchair lift. Press the stow button and verify the lift fully retracts into the wheelchair lift storage bay. Move the power switch on the pendant to the off position and secure the pendant to the mounting clip. Move the master lift power switch to the off position. You should hear the upper door air latches engage. Close the wheelchair lift cassette door with both hands, ensuring both door latches are secure. The driver can now return to the interior of the coach to position and secure the passenger. Once back in the driver's area, move the dash-mounted wheelchair lift switch to off. Make a full service brake application to disable the alarms and interlocks. Step 8. Mobility Aid Restraint System D-model coaches can accommodate two wheelchair guests. Complete step-by-step -step instructions are available in the instruction manual provided by the restraint manufacturer. An additional decal is also located under the seat cushion of the rear folding seats. Step 9. Boarding passenger onto wheelchair lift from coach. To load passenger onto the wheelchair lift, first, release the mobility aid restraints. Move passenger away from the upper doorway so as not to trigger the threshold warning device overhead. Deploy the lift and raise it until it stops. Open the door and continue raising the lift to door level. If required, return to the inside of the coach to assist the passenger onto the wheelchair lift. Have the passenger apply the brakes on the mobility aid device. If needed, offer assistance. Return to the lift area outside of the coach. Press the down button on the pendant to retract the bridge plate and to lower the lift to a position outside the door. Close and latch the upper sliding coach door. Press the down button on the pendant until the lift reaches ground level and the roll stop automatically deploys. Release the lift restraint belt and if requested, help the passenger exit the lift. Step 10. Stowing wheelchair lift from ground level. To stow the wheelchair lift from ground level, press the up button to raise the lift to approximately the stow position. To release the locks on the handrails, you press, lift, and fold for storage. The handrails must be folded in the order shown. Verify they link together. Now reconnect the restraint belt. Press the stow button and verify the lift fully retracts into the wheelchair lift storage bay. Move the power switch on the pendant to the off position. Store the cord and secure the remote control pendant to the mounted clip. Move the wheelchair lift master power switch to off. You should hear the upper door air latches engage. Close the wheelchair lift cassette door with both hands and ensure the latches connect. The driver can now re-enter the coach and return seats to the original position. Once back in the driver's area, move the dash-mounted wheelchair lift switch to off. Make a full-service brake application to disable the alarms and interlocks.